Well, before we get to your questions, we want to hear from the people who've already had the vaccine. What did it feel like? How did they feel afterwards? A mix of doctors, nurses, and patients share their experiences with us. Um, the day of it, it was pretty painless. Uh, didn't really feel it going in. Absolutely a painless. Even the needle, I didn't feel the guy stick me with a needle. The most painless shot I've ever had. I couldn't feel it at all. It was very easy getting the vaccine. It was very much like the flu shot. Not much different at all. Um, a little bit of soreness the first 24 hours on the first round. I felt fine that night. The next day I woke up, my arm was a little bit sore. Um, I was a little bit tired that day, but for the most part, I felt fine. And afterwards, uh, mostly my arm was sore for a few days uh, and no real large side effects with it. But basically all I had was soreness and a mild headache with either shot. The second round was a little bit more. At the 24 hour mark, I was, it was sore. If you can protect yourself and knowing that you protect yourself, you also protect others, then that's a good reason enough, I think, to get it. Absolutely get it. It will protect you and it will help us reach herd immunity, which things can really not get back to normal until we get, that to, get to that point. So for yourself and for your family, your community, your state, your country, get the vaccine. I have had some close friends lose family members, and I've seen the tragedy of what, hearing their story of their father getting sicker and passing away. Um, and if we can stop that from happening to other families, I think that's very important. Well, if you haven't yet received your vaccine, grab a pen and a piece of paper because we want to tell you how to learn about vaccine availability in your area. I want to explain how you can be updated because both hospitals have different procedures. Of course, at both facilities, you must be eligible. That's according to Missouri's tiered distribution plan. We are currently in phase 1B. Tier 2. At MU Healthcare in Columbia, you'll need to take a survey on our website. It's muhealth.org. If you don't have internet access or you need help completing that simple form, we have a number for you to call. It is 573-771-CARE. That's 573-771-CARE or 2273. Everyone can do this. It is not just for MU Healthcare patients. All vaccinations in Columbia are taking place at Furrow Field. They are by appointment only. Now, if you're closer to Jefferson City or a patient of Capital Region Medical Center, you'll need to call your health care provider to sign up for a vaccine. Again, as long as you fall within the state's eligibility guidelines. If you do not have a primary care provider with Capital Region Medical Center, you will need to establish care first. For help finding a doctor, go to their website. It is visit crmc.org slash provider dash directory. Again, all vaccinations are by appointment only.